Hey y'all, happy weekend. Hope everything is doing great with you. Okay, so I share with you guys a quick um, um, snapshot of an episode from FBI, the show that I do watch on CBS here in the US, which I find quite interesting that they use the whole story behind these meme stocks with GameStop and AMC and Robin Hood, you know, preventing people from buying the stock. And I thought, you know, it kind of give us an incentive that there is getting a lot more attention on this thing about to pop. Okay, so the banks are buying more and more AMC stock. I shared with you yesterday that almost all the major banks in the US are now owning AMC stock. Citigroup, Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, um, Northern Trust, Wells Fargo, um, BlackRock, Vanguard, Big Dogs Investment Firm Management, UBS, Credit Suisse, biggest banks in Europe. So um, it is concerning a lot of people, okay? As I'm reading on the comment section from those videos, a lot of the apes are worried that the banks will screw us up. They are worried that the banks will pull the rug on the end of ourselves uh, uh, um, and, and, and screw the whole short squeeze thing. Now, I'm going to share with you what I think. I'm going to share with you my personal opinion on this situation. And please feel free to comment what you guys think. And by the way, it seems like not a lot of you are receiving the notifications when I do post a video and some of you are not even able to like the video when they are watching the video. So please, quick live test. Whenever you, I mean, while you're watching now, please, will you please like and I will make sure that everybody has the ability to do so and also comment whether or not you did receive notification. Please, I really appreciate that. Now, this is what I think, guys. The only thing that matters on Wall Street and I think resolve, make the world, you know, go round and round, it's money. I mean, it's sad. It's, it, it may be sad and sound sad, and it is, but it is true. Money is really at the center of everything, okay? And greed, it works. Greed is the main driver of Wall Street. Are you aware that multiple hedge funds made billions of dollars on the GameStop short squeeze, not by shorting the stock, but by buying the stock. I'm talking multiple hedge funds making billions of dollars buying GameStop after the short squeeze. Or oh, because of the short squeeze, you know, they made a ton of money. They went against Melvin Capital. They went against uh, uh, um, um, Citron. They went against all those major hedge funds that were shorting heavily GameStop. And I think that gives you a good illustration of my point here. The banks buying heavily into AMC is not because they love the apes, it's not because they love AMC, it's because they saw an opportunity to make a ton of money and now they are increasing significantly the amount of shares because AMC is at a very better place financially and business-wise than it was two years ago, last year, 10 years and 20 years ago. So it's definitely a good bet, a good bet a good investment to be invested in AMC now. Show squeeze aside. Now, what it's doing is it, it's increasing the buying pressure, okay? And that is working in our favor, at least for now. Because the more buying pressure we do have, it's more difficult for the hedges to sustain the heavy shorts they have on AMC, which consequently will lead to what? A margin call and whenever that happens not only we're, we're gonna have a gamma squeeze but we're also gonna have so much shares being covered by buying back that I mean the share price of this thing will skyrocket to even Pluto I mean I'm not even talking about the moon it's it's past the moon it's Pluto okay and for that I think we shouldn't really be concerned about the banks buying now because even though even though they do sell around fifty dollars because they they bought around what six dollars they bought I mean they bought initially and then they now increasing significantly that's why the share price is not that much it's not that high but will you sell something you know to make a hundred million dollars if you do know for sure or at least ninety percent sure that you have the ability to make ten times that money or even 500 times that money? No, you wouldn't. It doesn't make sense, right? Why? Because everybody loves making money, including the banks. They don't care about, you know, the other hedge funds. There's no code. The only code, it's money, making money, all right? So because of that, I think we shouldn't really worry about banks buying here because at the end of the day, we do own the float. We do own the whole majority of the float, around 90%. And with the whole fear of missing out, the whole FOMO when this whole thing pops, 
even around $20, those other banks, those other individuals will now buy more and uh, this thing will, I mean, will fly to a point that we can't even imagine. So that's my personal opinion, guys, okay? Uh, um, that's what I do think. I may be wrong, definitely so, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section and we'll debate, all right? Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.